guys. So I know I made a video of how to program a MS-9200, but I figured, hey, why not make a video on the MS-9200 UDLS? Because, like I said, the programming is a bit different. So, we open it up. As you can see, we have our system normal message. All right, and the way to enter programming is the same thing as you would do on the 9200. Enter. However, one is read status mode and two is for programming. So for example, read status mode, number three is for power. And that's gonna tell me what our batteries have. So the battery, 27.80, and the 24 volt resettable power, it fluctuates as you can see. So then we can escape that, all right? Now we can also read the status of a system point. So a pull station, a module, a detector. So system point read system point select type one for detector two for module uh, as you can see i have the bg10 lx here i put up uh, yesterday let's go ahead and read that so we'll do two for module and that is zero zero three pull station by facp this one right there is normal all right and it's telling me loop one module three scroll down it tells you that it's a monitor type pull station and all the other information. So, when we escape out of that, oh, escape, all right, we can also read the detector two, zero, zero, one, normal, basement, laundry room, loop one, detector one, that's this one right here, and it is normal. So we can go ahead and escape that. Now, if I wanna enter programming, hit two, enter our password, Okay, and we are in programming. Now, on the MS-9200, as I said before, you can only add or delete a point by running auto program. However, on the MS-9200 UDLS and a lot of the newer panels, you go to point program, whether it's a detector or a module, you hit module, you can add, delete, or edit a point. So if I were to go to three, enter the module address, zero, zero, three, I can change the description of it. So basement by FACP, right? If I go all the way down, it'll say descrip uh, description. And my description is basement FACP. I could change that to, um, let's say this pool station was moved to a different location. Um, it could be, I don't know, uh, main entrance. You know, you know what I mean? So then we can escape that. And let's see, what else? Zone setup. Uh, point programming system setup and loop setup loop setup is the same thing so as you can see right here it's asking me what protocol so right now it's set as clip if I press number two it will give me light speed style is four because we have a class B circuit remember how I said if it's six it would be class A all right but we have it as four because it's class B now I can also put a keyboard right here and do the programming from the keyboard. And I'm gonna show you how that works. So what I'm gonna do is hook up the keyboard. All right, so here's the keyboard and you have to have this end on it right here in order for it to work. And there's a little port right next to the piezo right there. As you can see, it says keyboard connection. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna plug that right in there. All right. And we're back to the programming enter password. So, oh, I gotta give it a second. It takes a second sometimes for it to work. Uh, I don't know why. But here, what I'll do is I'll just enter the password here. Okay, now we're in programming. And as you can see, this arrow right here means we can scroll down. And if I do scroll down, then I have the option of going up and down. All right, so here's the keyboard. So if I press that, Let's see if it's gonna work, there we go. So I'm using the keyboard, I'm using the arrows on the keyboard to control what I'm doing. So I'm gonna press the down arrow on the keyboard. All right, gives me a history. Now let's say I'm on the keyboard, one for history. I'm gonna come right here, I'm gonna press number one, and it says view events or erase history. I'm gonna press number one again on the keyboard. View all, view alarms, view other events, number one again. And it's going to tell me that there, all the history of anything that's happened with the panel. So there was a trouble in the system. SLC1 was open. Acknowledge in the system. Silence for, the, for NAC1, 2, 3, and 4. All right. A reset in system. 
clear in system, drill active, restore in system, trouble in system, NAC2 fault, and as you can see, any time something gets logged into the system, it gives the date and time of when the event occurred. Okay? So what I can do is if I want to escape where I am, I just come right here and press escape. Uh, for me, the keyboard's a lot easier than using the uh, panel touchpad. Uh, option modules, walk test, password change. All right, so what we'll do is we're going to go to system setup. We're going to press number two, and that's going to give us our trouble reminder, our banner, which is the, I um, put factory, which is the Honeywell Life Safety. Okay. You can scroll down. NACs, two for NACs, two for NAC2, enabled, yes, type, strobe, silence, sync. So, what strobe, silence, sync is, and as you can see, the enunciator mimics anything that I do at the main panel. What this means is, when I press alarm silence, it means both the horns and the strobe stop. They do not continue to flash after the system has been silenced, um, because that is no longer allowed, um, because, for those of you who don't know, Selective silence can send mixed signals to the hearing impaired. So, anytime, this is pretty simple once you get the hang of it. Um, it's not that hard. So, sync type S, if I press 1, I can select 1 for system sensor, 2 for wheelock, and 3 for Gentex. So, I have it set as number 1, obviously, because I have uh, system sensor notification appliances on my NAC circuit. So, and um, all I'm going to do now is, once I've made my changes, you always want to escape, escape, escape. Okay? And the reason why this is done, hold on one second. Okay. Can I try? I would always remember to unplug the keyboard. There we go. Now the reason why you want to press escape and not reset after you do programming, uh, Will can explain this better than I can, but it has something to do with when you power down the system, um, you, your programming will not be saved if you power down the system. However, if you hit escape, it resets and initializes. If you have questions about that, I would ask Will because he knows how that works. So as you can see, Honeywell Life Safety, system all normal. So again, this is pretty typical of how to program it. Um, it's basic. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Always happy to help. Thanks for watching, guys.